YouTube welcome back to the vlog I just want to say good morning good morning good morning I know a little early in the morning I got a little bit too much energy and we need to drain that right and what is the number one way to drain that to go run and where's the best place to go run it's definitely the strip let's go right so one of the number one things you gotta do before you do any kind of physical activity stretch ain't that right do we stretch yep. okay good that's my workout partner by the way so mgm to the encore to the win we're halfway there now i gotta head back my burrito right guess where we are at the Phoenician we're gonna play the $200 RG tournament it's like $50 bounty let's go right $50 bounty, we are out. How far did you get in, man? How's 24? 24? We were at 40 seconds. <laughs> no good. All right, so what happened to the tournament last night? Well, it actually went pretty good, except for, I want to say, one or two hands that I made a mistake on. Uh, more significantly was to, I had six, seven off suits, and I'm in the big blind, or... I'm in the middle position and I got an early position that shoved uh, they were short they had like less a little bit less than two big blinds so I make it 5x because there's the bounty there's a $50 bounty on his head so I make it 5x with 6-7 offsuit I know it's a little loose but I think it's a good spot to if nobody really had a hand there they can really call and then I can isolate the guy right so anyway um, Surprisingly enough, <laughs> we got five freaking people calling behind. 5X. Five people calling 5X. Are you kidding me? So we go to the flop, and the flop came deuce, seven deuce. Perfect flop for me, right? Well, I didn't think so at the time. It's horrible. I'm out of position. That's the first thing that came into my mind is I was out of position, and I checked it. I should have I should have continued firing there. And that was a big mistake when I checked it. It checked all the way around, queen on the turn. And of course, somebody made that queen. So horrible, horrible play, horrible play. One hand that actually crippled me. I'm sitting at about 18, 18 bigs right about now. And I got six, seven of hearts from the late position. And we got an early position raised to 3x. And I floated here. I think, I think it's a good spot to float here. And I can definitely for sure uh, double up or felt somebody here so but I floated and big blind also calls the flop came five seven three it's a damn good flop for us we flopped top here with the gutter so I think it's a really good spot to get it in here right I mean uh, there's no uh, I don't th I think uh, there's you can't find any better spot right so original better C bets for about close to half of his stack which made me think that he had uh, he was leaving some fold equity there and uh, man I tell you was I wrong anyway I saw that and it's a prime opportunity for me to shove here I got top here with a gutter and I got a lot of equity and if I can make him fold here uh, great 
if not we still got showdown value and we still got a lot of equity to go right so um i show up for the rest of the stack which is about 14 bigs and big blind folds and he calls oh man i thought he had fold equity he shows pocket tens and pocket tens held and that crippled us to about less than one big blind <laughs> this is at like level eight or something like that the blinds were 400 800 yeah 400 800 and uh and there was like 42 people left in the tournament there was a total of 110 people yeah 110 people that bought into the tournament so not too bad i i, I didn't mind my play i really didn't because uh, uh a lot of times they could absolutely have nothing there like such as ace queen ace king you know ace jack ace ten suited uh pocket nines could possibly fold there you see so um uh tens i don't know i think uh I think if you, if my tournament line is on the line, I think I could fold pocket tens there, you know, because that's such a strong shove. And sure enough, he snap calls, which is a little weird to me. So anyway, um, we got crippled there, and our very next hand was uh, uh, ace jack spade spade. It was no good. <laughs> there was like four all ins in that hand. So I overall played really good. Um, I'm always picking my spots, always looking for that for that dead money and try to take advantage of that. And uh, that's how I've been running uh, deep on a lot of these tournaments, you know. So hopefully I can keep that up. Uh, and in the meantime, we're, we're going to continue play tournaments. And I think that's actually where I fit in the most. Uh, the cash game, I'm, I'm trying to play them like tournaments. And you know cash games don't work like that. So... Uh, I, a lot of times I think I don't have a lot of fold equity in cash games, which in fact not the truth. So I feel like I have not uh, clarified my position enough. So um, I'm doing Uber and Lyft now. I quit trucking. Uh, will I be back? I have no idea if I will or not. Um, if I did, it's a long time from now. So I, I have no plans to come back as of this moment so but yeah we're gonna be grinding a lot of uh, uh, a lot of tournaments and uh, definitely gonna look into trying to improve my cash game place um, I, I, I'm not that bad in cash games it's just that sometimes I just don't see that I have fold equity when cash game is absolutely different beast when it comes to tournament i got a really good buddy of mine he's uh ernesto that's been uh, guiding me throughout all this he said yeah you can do it you can do it he's been uh, uh he's been my motivator and coach when it comes to poker so i love it and uh i'm grateful for uh uh friending him and uh getting uh building a good relationship with him so hopefully you'll see me on one of these uh wsop final this year maybe we'll see right <laughs>